doing here? Visiting my friend. So it started a couple years back. I'm turning 60 years old. My wife and daughter decide to get us a family trip fish collecting on the Amazon. We already did this. This is the hose that goes out the window, right? This is like a homemade thermometer well. But basically it's a OXO Good Grips. I found that I like that one best because big, read out. Let's see. big digital readout. Uh, it also has an auto off feature so it doesn't burn up the batteries. And the shaft happens to fit right down in here on the two PVC fittings. Um, stainless steel so it's pretty much safe. This is a really cool thing for a home aquarium. Steven. You can make this for, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 bucks, including the thermometer. All right. And you can tell what the temperature is. Even if you hook your Python up to this, you know the temperature going to the tanks. So we're, we're collecting. Uh, we go from spot to spot. The lungfish came from landlocked lake. I know there's some technical term for it, but it's basically where the river has dried up and there's a lake that's formed by what's left. So this is a compression fit to hose adapter. The other end, I've basically built a thing that overflows into the tank, has a shutoff, just made out of PVC fittings. We're going mobile, this is going out the window. Okay, so that's hooked up tight. I just like to, uh, I'm aiming it right now, so I just pull the window shut and hold it in place. And then I'm opening up the drain valve. Okay, so you'll see all that when you get over here. Okay. Now, anything that goes over the overflow is gonna go down the drain. I remember crossing this one log and about 20 feet later, we're all slapping at our crotches because we're getting bit by the uh, army ants that were also crossing the log. At one point, we had pulled the seine up so there was maybe six inches of water left in it. And I saw this little worm-like thing, eelly like thing, swimming. I'm like, what is that? And it took me a couple passes before I actually caught it. And that's when we, we realized it was a lungfish. It was a baby lungfish. So at that point, it was probably, I think we measured it about five and a half inches long, uh, black with gold spots. I'm going to set this one in the tank. Right now it is on. So water is going to flow as soon as I turn the water on. And this might seem a little funny, but it works. You ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Then this little guy is going on, and you notice this is just hand tight. Now, one of the things I like to do is make sure I have hot water before. That just helps me get the whole thing to temperature. This guy's gonna clip on here. He's on. Snap this guy on. And if you look at this, all of these fittings, except for this guy, came from a Lowe's or a Home Depot. And the thermometer came from, you know, like a kitchen store, uh, Target, something like that. I turned the cold all the way up. Water is flowing into the tank right now. So now I adjust the temperature with the hot and it just takes a little bit. I'm gonna go to about 78, 79 degrees and I might go hotter at first and then turn it down. I'm gonna call that pretty good. Amazing. Let's, let's go see if water's going out the other end, sure. okay? We decided we would bring it back. We shipped it back, uh, quarantined it, um, and it's growing from its five and a half inches to now I think it's about 18, I would say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now the only other inhabitants with it are the uh, Royal Farwellas. We caught them at the same location, by the way. So it just seemed like they would go together. That's, that's where he came from. Little little uh, place in Peru. Okay, so this is this is my flow rate right here. 
That's pretty good. Right. That's pretty good flow rate for how small that line is. Right. If I run that for an hour, I figured out that I pumped 30 gallons of water into here. That's not going to give me a 50% water change, right? Mm -hmm. It'll give me maybe a 25% because we're diluting. We're not, I mean, if I was to drain the tank and then do it, I would have a 50% water change. Yep. So if you guys haven't watched the, the first video of this tank, it's on the channel. It is. And the long fish has gotten huge. The Farwella cats, look at how beautiful they are in color. So this is where the hose actually comes out to the outside. You can see it's just flowing at about the same speed. If you had a garden out here right there, uh, it'd be pretty neat. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I'm getting too old for this. Good morning. <laughs> That's a blooper. Shh. Good morning. Just getting my stuff to do a water change. Let's, yeah, can I help? Yeah, you wanna do that?